also a nice history of your, your collaboration with, uh, with France, and uh, definitely you deserve to have this, uh, this prize. So it is my, my pleasure and my hope to, to give you this. Many people are studying the biological aspects of porphyrins, these types of molecules, and now they're using them for other types of synthetic reactions and to study energy, to study energy transfer. Um, they're just a very well-known molecule that uh, are found everywhere in nature, in life. The society was created uh, actually by two of us, it's myself and, and Roger Guilard, who's in, in Dijon. Uh, we've both been in the area of porphyrins for many years, and so we said we really need a society to bring people together with this, this interest. And it's actually the, the SPP, Society of Porphyrins and Thalocyanines. Thalocyanines are similar to porphyrins structurally, but they're not found in nature, they're, they're synthetic molecules. Uh, most common thalocyanine is on dyes. So there were a number of people working in thalocyanines, a number of people working in porphyrins, but they never talked to each other. We started talking about it in the late 1990s. Uh, we had a first meeting held in Dijon in 2000, the first conference on porphyrins and thalocyanines. And after the meeting, as we, people talked at the meeting, you said, you must form a society, you must continue this group, and that's what we did. You know, I, I've had contact with France for a number of years, starting, uh, I knew as a graduate student, there were French researchers that visited my laboratory. I went to a number of French universities uh, throughout France as a visiting professor. And during that time, I became involved with many French students and the French students said, oh, it would be nice to go to America to work at a lab. And so some of it was saying, why don't you come to Houston? Or if you don't come here, why don't you go to other laboratories? I can help you. And so it's mutually, mutually beneficial. It was good for American researchers to have the French students, and it was good for the French to have the American experience. And so both sides worked out very well.